Market volatility got you worried? Do what resilient investors do on this week's edition of WealthWise. I'm Clark Brown with Elevate Wealth Advisory. Are you a resilient investor? Do you take market volatility in stride? Or are you tempted to react when things get challenging? Resilient investors do three things before any important money decision. Check assumptions, check thinking, and check emotions. Most people aren't rational when it comes to money. The field of behavioral finance provides insights into why this is true. Basically, from time to time, we all make thinking mistakes. Researchers describe these mistakes as biases, which fall into three broad categories. Belief perseverance, information processing, and emotional biases. Let's imagine how this might work using today's headlines. Inflation is at a 40-year high. Gas prices are increasing daily. There's a war in Ukraine, and the stock market is in a slump. We see these news stories unfold day after day, and we worry about what this all means. We see our investments declining, our retirement funds shrinking, and we are tempted to do something, anything, anything to stop the loss, to stop the pain. So we react, we sell. We may feel better for the moment, but we may regret that decision in the long run. History shows us why. This blue line is tracking the return of the stock market. We know it goes ups and down, but from a distance, we see the trend seems to be up over the long run. The headlines tell the story. The dot-com bubble, the dot-com burst, 9-11, the subprime mortgage crisis, the Great Recession, Brexit, the fiscal cliff, and COVID-19. Hindsight is 2020. If you knew then what we can see now, what would you have done? You'd stay the course. You'd invest more if you had it. But when you're in it, in the moment, you don't know, you can't know, and it feels like something you've never seen before, and you react. Maybe not at first, but these things tend to take time to work out. And a continuous grind of the negative news cycle, the declining numbers month after month, it takes its toll. Here's the evidence. Green bars show the net amount of money going into all stock mutual funds. Red bars show the net amount of money coming out of all stock mutual funds. Notice how the money pours in as the market goes up, increasing at market peaks. Now, notice how the money gets pulled back out as the market is going down, increasing at market bottoms. What's the first rule of investing? Buy low, sell high. But here, it looks like a lot of investors are doing the exact opposite. Why is that? Well, it could be these biases at work. So what should you do to avoid making these thinking mistakes? First, check your assumptions. Confirmation bias happens when we reach a conclusion and then look for information to support that decision while ignoring anything contrary. Instead, look for contrary information and then weigh it together with supporting information. Second, check your thinking. Are you following a thorough process? Recency bias is a tendency to put too much weight on recent events as a shortcut to a quick decision. Following a disciplined process will ensure you check all the right boxes. Third, check your emotions. Loss aversion is a very powerful bias. Look, nobody likes to be wrong. Nobody likes to get hurt. Nobody likes to lose money. But know that emotions are like waves crashing on a beach. In time, the waves will subside, as do feelings. Make sure you're clear-headed when making money decisions. So next time you have a big money decision in front of you, be resilient, check your emotions, check your thinking, and check your assumptions. It may just help you avoid a big mistake. If you're interested in knowing more about how you're wired and the potential behavioral biases that might trip you up, Follow the link below and take a 10-minute survey to learn more about your investor personality. And you can learn even more about behavioral biases by joining our upcoming webinar with Michael Pompian, author of Behavioral Finance and Your Portfolio, on Tuesday, April 26th at 10 a.m.